Was it the graveside, wasn't it? Yeah, one of um, I don't know, was it, uh, one of the crow brothers. Was that Reg? I think. Was the, the, the I don't know, Jay Paul. And, and who's who's there in the picture? Others um, Joe Paul, Woody Pine, Roy Shaw, Johnny Nash, and Freddie Foreman. He was the oldest man ever called. Ron Stander. Because he he'd been in with uh, Fraser, was, hadn't yes, he? Yes, well, he was he was a top contender. Yeah, and and you said that that he might well have beaten you, but he had a rib problem, oh, didn't he? Yeah, he was a. No, he was a, in, in a different class. Mm. I mean, I hit him on the chin. He went. I said, boy, keep it up, keep it up, yeah. crash, keep it up, keep it up, cool. I went back and went, tell him to keep, I mean, he's all, he's tell him to keep it up. I said, try his belly, so I went out and he went, mm. and that was it. So that's, that's sort of why I'd done him. Roy, if having one more fight. Well, Joey Paul, you know, young Joe said, uh, can we get on a, a Russian over here? It's, you know, give him a build up and, uh, if you fight, we said we'll fill out, and, and he all, you know, talking about silly, silly money. That's it. So I said, uh, when I think about it, I'm still thinking. <laughs> I've got quite a few of them in summer. What, what, what did you feel about him coming back to England? Do you think that was like the right thing to do? No, I don't think it was the right thing to do. No, he was. Uh, he was not living in no la la luxury on the way over there, but he, he was left alone and he was living a life. You know, he lived in a. They all think he. Had he lived in a great big um, mansion and all that, but then he lived in a little flat in the back streets of Rio, you know, where everybody spoke, um, you know, whatever language it is they speak over there. Uh, Rio. Yeah, Brazilian <laughs> like, or whatever Brazilian, it is. Yeah. <laughs> you brought up in, in Stepney, weren't you, Nelson? Yeah, but that was in the, um, the war years, and then they, they, I was only a you know, baby. Then they um, sent us to um, Wiltshire, and evacuated with my mum. And then, off, then, then we come back and they put us in um, Dagenham Porters Avenue. And we li I lived there all the time until I went to the um, to visit the Queen's places, <laughs> Parkers, <laughs> Bondsworth, and all the other ones. Well, was it was it rough in the East End in them days? No, I was a, a baby at that particular time. You know, mm -hmm. they used to knock around with my uncles and they'd be doing all the uh, uh, what do they call it um, under the count nicking things. Because everything was on rations there, wasn't I? In them days, you wouldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> You've got great memories of your, of your father. Yeah, very much so. And he, he was—he used to help on the motorbikes and stuff, didn't he? That's right. He was. That's that's what um, come to an end. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't get on one at all. The who was who was driving. Yeah. Uh, to, he would, you know, when you're driving along, like they zoom in and out. You know, so it's. Uh, I don't know if my dad would do, but that's all, all it was was his. It's pedal at the curb and spun him around the lamp post, otherwise, you know, it would have been all right. The, lo the, uh, the lodger um, who was with me, he, he survived. I mean, that must have been terribly tragic for you at such an early age. Yeah, you know, well, what well, it did, you know, but it's a, you still, I still go over the grave, you, you know, don't, be, don't forget your, your people. Well, now we've got my mum's going, so uh, we'll get the, she, she's getting cremated. She didn't wonder if she said, I don't want to rot in, a, in the ground. So we're getting command and we're gonna sprinkle them over the um over my dad's grave. Yeah. Yeah, do, you so. th do you think if your dad had lived, do you think your life would have been very different? Um yeah, I'd have been uh, I wouldn't have got into the trouble that I was got into. I, I, I mean I was not believing I was an old working kid, I was on doing the, what they call umping timber out of barges and, and that is hard hard work. And uh, you get men who couldn't couldn't even keep up with me and I was only a youngster. But you know, maybe I worked, 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 worked all the time, and then, uh, then I started again having fights and getting a reputation, and then started then uh, robbing bank bands and things like that. I mean, that that e evening that you went, I mean, you really wanted to go with him, didn't you? To the, the it was a speedboat. Yeah, he was supposed to, he was supposed to be taking me. Yeah, so I'll take you to the boxes and I uh, to the speedboat, and I oh, all right, lovely. And uh, the lodger come home from the market. And he said, all right, Harry, we said, we'll go out up the speedway. I've got some people who want to meet you in the pub, have a nice little drink. He went, yeah, all right, lovely. And he said, sorry, boy, you can't come. And that was it. That's terrible. And and, and where, where's he buried now, or is he cremated? Over, over, uh, no, he was, well, he was buried uh, in Dagenham. Yeah.
Was he a strict father or were you more like friends? Um, well, no, if he if he said you got to do so, something, you got to do. I mean, he used to get his work for Pace Cullen and uh, he used to get a lot of timber. And I used to, to saw it up. Then I'd go out the weekends with bundles of timber chopped up and sell it, you know, for firewood to the uh, to all, all, all around the streets, you know. And and, uh, and that was uh, me, me pocket money. And you, you used to help him in the garden and stuff. Yeah, I done all the gardening. And I used to go with him when he used to deliver. You know, Pace Cullen had deliver cement. Sand and anything like bricks, and I'd help him all unload and load. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he was a, you know, a great father. And, and was it like a very sort of supportive family with your mother and stuff? Or they oh, all... yeah, 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 everything was, was all together. Three sisters. Were, were you the only boy? Yeah. yeah. How, how was that? I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Well, when you, when you oh. actually came out of prison and, and uh, he, 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 your daughter recognised you straight away, didn't, didn't she? Yeah, it was. Um, I post that. I, I, I'm very emotional. I, um, even if I watch a, a, a show on, on the telly or read a paper, I mean, there's one thing that always sticks in my mind. These old pair had, uh, um, had a small dog, and, and the dad died, and so the old woman always said that was a dog. So she took it and went, went in the car and put the gas thing on, and. Uh, Killed herself, you know, because she didn't want to be, you know, on her own without her husband. And I think it's sad. And I used to, I just read it and cry. And people on television, you know, I couldn't watch that. Uh, that last man who got, um, who killed them two, two, two girls. I, I couldn't even watch it on telly. I just cry. Yeah. And, and what, what do you think about people like that? Well, I hate them. You know, I mean, the thing is, I um. I've done them in the prison, stabbed them and what have you, every chance we get. So what they've done now, they put them into special wings on their own, so no, no, none of the people like me can get at them. But me and Jack, the you know, one who um, died from for the twins thing, we, we've done loads of them together, he, and he was um, he as game as anybody, and a right nice man as that, Jack, the yeah, was. They've run him down, the twins, to... <coughs> to make the excuse that they got rid of someone that was no good, but he wasn't, he was a, a diamond of a geezer. Because, he, yeah, he's got this reputation, hasn't he, of, of not being that, and, and for you, he was something completely different, uh, wasn't he? And, and to a lot of nice people he was, he was, and he's the only one who, um, all the time I was in prison, I'd say, Rob, we'll be up and see you, we'll be up and see you. i go, all right. And then, then he, um, but after all that time, he come out and he, got, he said, right, he got out on a Friday, he was up to see me on a Saturday. He said, right, right, I'll get you out of here, I'll get you out of here. I said, no, no, it's all right, they, they uh, what's the name, everything's, everything's not with Rose, yeah. I went, all right. And he went on about the twins, you know, the aggravation that he was having with them. And that was it, you know, I didn't see him no more. Mm. It was coming home from the West End, me and another kid's called Rainbird, and, and, and Carolina. And um, you stop over all that, they've got a bicycle shop in, in Batty Street, I think it's called. You go down the stairs and, uh, you get some hot bibles, Jewish bibles, you know. So when I went said all the dozen bibles, and I said, oh, darling, get some of that butter. She has some butter on the shelf. She went, and I said, oh, come on, come on, get some butter. And she went, Fred, John? And she saw some, you know, the bakers, and they come round. And, and I had done my night, I said, I've got me, um, no, no, me, Carol, she was up in the car. I had me two mates down there. And I went in there, and I picked up a, I was saying, we're rolling pin or something, whack this geezer. Then all of a sudden the other bakers come out, so I picked up the knife, and um, the line like, was about eight of them all there. No, it must have been nine, because I got charged for nine charges, nine charges of armed robbery. So I said, come on, it's like, it's like in the olden days when I robbed the trains, put the, you know, put it in the hat, I had a nap, was there, put it in the hat, give us your money, give us your watch, give us your money, put all the way along. And then we went, but obviously they followed us out, got the number of the car, so, so we got nicked. But that's, that's when I was in Brixton, and I knew that I was going to get in trouble, and that's when I went through the door in Brixton, and where they hit me on the head. So, you know, just like, because I, I was a serious nine charges of armed robbery. I thought I was going to go away for a long while. But with that medical um, thing that I had, it helped me out a bit, and, and I got 21 months. <laughs>